Hi, sister. Great to have you on the show today. Woo! Good to be here, Tad. I'm Sister Jeanette, the more God-fearing and modest version of Sister Jean. Not to mention, younger. She's so old, she met Jesus. In the manger! Uh, okay. Coming for Sister Jean's age. Uh, that's not very nice. It's okay. I'm actually turning 100 next week. Oh, congrats. To celebrate, I'm praying to... St. Franzia! I'm going to bring this box of wine down to the local soup kitchen for all my friends. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, but they will be filled with sunset flesh. What's it going to be for you, Tad? Blood? Or body? Uh, you're uh, such a good Samaritan for taking that down to the uh, <laughs> soup kitchen. Are you upset about Loyola getting knocked out of the tournament at all? Of course I'm upset we lost to a bunch of heathens, but uh, I know that God is teaching us a lesson here. Like it says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 5. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, <coughs> Sister Jean. For they love to pray standing in the bleachers, hoping to be seen by ESPN. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. Okay, sounds like you might not like Sister Jean. Let me say this, Tad. It's easier for a camel to fit through the eye of a needle than for Loyola to win the NCAA tournament when Sister Jean is in charge. <laughs> All right, enough about Sister Jean. So what actually do you like about Loyola basketball? Let me tell you with a prayer. Take my hand, Tad. <clears throat> Fast breaks on offense and rebounds on defense. Grutwig and Williamson coming off the bench. Picture me with the team, not Sister Jean. These are a few of my favorite things. Is that, that sound of music? It is very good ear, Tad. He who sings prays twice. Right. And if they don't give me that chaplain job when Sister Jean passes on, God bless her soul, I swear to God, I am going to live with that Navy captain and his seven children. And maybe I'll fuck him. All right, that's Sister Jean, everybody.